This is the Bookshop Layered Heart die set. There's six dies in this in total, and you can see here what they actually cut out. They're much larger than they show on the packet. In fact, in fact, the heart almost fills the packaging there. So uh, I do like to be able to show you these already cut out so you can gauge the size. So what we've got with this set is uh, your full heart, your solid heart, but it does have a little bit of a uh, torn edge or distressed uh, edge to it. Then we've got the inlay piece, which has the text into it there. You've got like the negative image of the text throughout. And this sits ever so slightly smaller than the original heart. So you'll see how that just overlays and gives you texture. Then we've also got included in this set a paperclip die, which I just find really handy. I use that a lot. Uh, we've got the twine wrap die there as well, which is really fun uh, just for additional little embellishments. And then we've got two dies that will cut you a torn edge or a note, note paper edge. So one of these will cut out in a perfect rectangle and one of them will just cut anywhere into your paper without having an edge to it. And you can then tear and distress the edge however you want to. So these are the dies, as you can see, they're all a good size. They'll all go through uh, sort of your A5 die cutting machine there. And you can see how those two are separate. Now let's just take a look at some examples of these using those. So we've got the heart in the background here and I've also used that twine around the heart. See, the width fits just beautifully and you can adjust that however you want to. I've actually just tucked the edges around the heart there just to make it a little bit shorter for what I need. Um, but the, the text heart works really well with the theme of the books that's in the bookshop collection. Then we've got just the inlay because that does cut the outline as well. So you can use that just on its own. So I simply use some nice bold colours. I inked a panel of cardstock with my distress inks and then I just cut this from white and laid, glued it over the top, ensuring I glued all the pieces down so it looks as if it's um, kind of been a mask or a stencil instead. So a really nice, fun, contemporary card that's very quick to make. Now this one is lovely because what I did is I took craft stash foam adhesive uh, or adhesive foam so it's got glue on both sides and it die cuts really easily. So I die cut my two pieces of my heart and then I also die cut the foam from this top piece and layered that between. So you've really got lots of dimension in there and you could even do that with two or three layers of foam if you wanted to. Otherwise lots of cardstock will get you that deep look in there and I like that the foam's black, it adds to the shadow effect so that really makes a beautiful dimensional heart there and you can again you can add your twine around there or your paper clip on or such if you like. Then lastly I've just done this heart with the twine again um, and I've just all I've done is I've used the same colour cardstock for this and I've spritzed and I've splattered and I've stamped a little bit so the texture is maybe a little more subtle on this one but still equally as beautiful. Now I'm just going to also show you this card here because here I've used the edge here which is um, the note paper edges so for the back piece you can see that I've used the rectangle piece and down the side here I've used the one that cuts in any way into anywhere into your card um, and in addition to the twine and the notepad you've also got this which I'll just show you here is that paper clip there it is in action um, we've got it here as well so just holding my sentiment pieces on, which is just really good fun. So I absolutely love this set. I love all the pieces that come in with it, particularly that heart. I think it's absolutely fantastic for a fun background.